Good Day Kansas with Jillian Carroll and Avery Osen. Good afternoon. Welcome in. Good Day Kansas starts now on this Red Friday. We're so glad you're here to enjoy the show today. We wanted to start it off with some fun things happening this weekend, right? Yes, yeah, we do. And happy October 2 to it's everybody. Crazy. October 1st already. And maybe to celebrate, you can fin spend some time this weekend in Winfield at Art in the Park. It's always the first Saturday in October. You can go around to local vendors and buy some different art that people have out. Also, it's fun for the kids. They have a lot of activities set up for them to do. So head on to Winfield. It is from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow in Winfield at Island Park. What a fun way to support local and have some fun at the same time. Before we bring in the show, I wanted to give a big congratulations to our friends over at the Head to Toe Hygiene Pantry. You might remember we had them on the show and we let you know we needed your help to <laughs> vote for them to win a grant from State Farm. Well, they won. So we are thrilled for them. They're going to take home now $25,000 and they're going to just continue to pour it into the community. We know it will be amazing and just want to say thank you if you were able to vote and another congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Then we met them a few weeks ago and they were just great people over there. Well, let's get our show started today with the community calendar and it's sponsored by Evergy. Good afternoon, it's time for Good Day Kansas. We start today with a greetings of happy hump day. We are halfway through the week and we typically talk about animals on the show on Thursdays. Today we are talking about them because there's a fun event geared toward the four-legged friends in your family. So Bradley Fair is hosting a yappy hour, which I think is absolutely hilarious. What a pun on happy hour, <laughs> but it's for the ones that yap. So the four-legged furry friends in your family, this should be a great event. Yeah, it should be. It all goes for the Wichita Animal Action League, um, such a great nonprofit here in Wichita. The event's from 5:30 to 7, and you can—it's a pre-registration for five dollars. And um, when you do that, you also get a bag full of goodies for yourself, but also for your dog. So it goes toward towards a good, uh, you know, charitable cl sure, cause, yeah. and it also is uh, kind of fun to go do. 5:30 to 7, there are drink specials and shopping specials as well down at Bradley Fair. Yeah, tonight. and that's happening tonight. So make sure you get out. You know, I always see when I'm at a Starbucks or at an ice cream spot where the dog get the pup cups. I think that's so funny. I'm not a dog owner, but I could get behind this. Um, there will be pup cups. There will be some fun opportunities for some photos. So bring out your little furry friend, maybe throw a cute costume on. I don't know, yeah. um, but have some fun. And as Avery mentioned, there's always, you know, this is such a great cause. So the fundraiser element does go back to an incredible group right here locally supporting different animal needs. And who doesn't want to go to Bradley Fair for yeah. an event? One of the best spots, you know, visit the fountain um, and just enjoy. So if you guys can make it, snap some photos, send them our way. We love to see you out in the community. Um, and we have some other events too, don't we? That's right, Julie. And then we're going to start off today's show. We are back with more Good Day Kansas, and I am absolutely thrilled about this new spot that we get to share with you all. So we're in Delano, and we are at Al Zavino Wine Tavern. We are with owners Danielle and Ken Harmon. Thank you so much for your time today, guys. Yeah, thank you. Yes, of course. So as I mentioned, so excited to help share the story. You have such a unique place here. Danielle, just share with us a little bit about Al Zavino. Yeah, so what we were really trying to do was just bring wine education into the community. Um, it's all about experimenting, trying new things, um, just getting out of your comfort zone in terms of wine. I love that and I love wine. So uh, this is a spot for me and can share with us the process is rather unique here. Yes, as far as we know, it's the first time that it's been done in central Kansas. And so when you come into our, our establishment, you get a card and so you can select how much uh, funds you'd like to put on the card. Sure. And then when you come up to the machines, you can peruse. We have 16 different types of wine on the machines. And so you can select between one, three, and six ounces. Okay. And so you do a little taste if you just want to experiment with something. And if you find something you like, you can do six ounces, get, get yourself a full glass. Yeah. And then you can try that over and over again. What a fun concept. Danielle, you both were really passionate about bringing something new here. Yeah. And just share with us the vibes that you hope that people experience when they come in. Yeah, because obviously we can all just go somewhere, grab a bottle of wine and take it home yes. and be all comfy and cozy. So that's what we were trying to do here. Okay. We want to make it warm, inviting, comfy, cozy, a family environment. Yeah. Um, we're really hoping that we get lots of regulars that we just become business friends with. Sure. Um, because we do, we know people have options to just stay at home. And yeah. so being able to come in here and hang out with us um, and just relax and enjoy everybody's company is kind of what we were striving for. Share with us kind of what happens in the back of the business. Yeah, so in 1920, this uh, became a bank. Citizen State Bank moved in and they had uh, their vault and the vault is still here. Okay. 
the vault, the vault door is still here. Uh, and so we've turned that into a private tasting room. So very swanky, very comfortable kind of environment. Seats about eight to 10 people. So it's been very popular among us. Oh, so I'm far. sure. I'm sure. And Danielle, you are really also supporting local here. You're not only providing a great experience with a great patio, but I also see some local vendors inside. Yep, we've got ICT makers in here with some Wichita memorabilia. Okay. We've got Lovey & Co. in here with some chocolate bars. And then we've been really trying to build as much of a local presence in our food as well. So we have partnerships with Reverie, Bagatelle, um, Lovey & Company for sure. chocolates. Um, Nifty Nut House. Oh, some of my favorites. Um, and Wichita <laughs> Cheesecake Company. Okay, cool. So you mentioned food. So when we come in, is there a large menu or is it just kind of finger foods? It's it's finger foods. Okay. It's shareable plates, lots Great. of appetizers. And Danielle and Ken, you guys are doing amazing things here. We thank you for bringing this to the community. And if we want to get in touch or learn what's going on, Danielle, where can we do that? Yep, so we have a website, so you can find us on our website. Or we are also on Facebook, Facebook and Instagram. Excellent. Well, thank you again so much for your time yeah. and for what you're bringing to Delano and Wichita. We appreciate yeah. it. Well, thanks yeah. for thanks. Of course. That wraps up Good Day Kansas for today. Check us out tomorrow for more 1230 on KSN. Hi everybody, welcome into Good Day Kansas on a Monday. Thanks for making us part of your day today. I really love pizza, it's one of my favorite foods. And so this month is actually National Pizza Month. So Jillian, I'm curious, what are some of your favorite uh, places yeah. to go to get some pizza? We have so many incredible pizza places in our area and across the state. We've gotten to visit quite a few. So um, one that I remember I actually got to get my hands dirty and tried my best with an oven brick pizza was at El Vicino and it was delicious. Um, Obviously, I had the one that they made me because mine, I'm sure I screwed up, but it was awesome. Um, and I just love any type of vegetable pizza personally. Um, but I know Back Alley and Newton is a favorite. Nola's is a favorite of our producer, Greg. He loves that one. Um, what's your favorite? Do you have a yeah. topping that you love? Yeah, so a couple weeks ago, we went to a grandma's soda shop mm -hmm. and that and that was really they had some really homemade good pizza oh, there nice. so it was pretty good also i went to picasso's last night their pizzas are the size of my face yeah. and so that's a good one as well so yeah. that's probably my favorite we'd love to know what your favorite is whether it's a topping or a pizza joint right here in kansas drop a line on our facebook page let us know but stick around we have a great show today Exactly right. We just want to say thank you to our fans and um, appreciate their fandom by just kind of giving them some incentives. So everyone has mobile apps these days. So mm -hmm. we have one too. The Chiefs mobile app is very easy to download and um, it just really celebrates different things. So our fans can take quizzes and show their knowledge of the organization or the game. They can get points for doing things they do already, like watching the game, attending events, um, and different things to just celebrate their fandom. And you can eat lounge. That's right. We're so excited. So it will be our fifth style lounge, but our first collaboration with KC Fashion Week. And we all know what a huge event KC Fashion Week is. So we're pretty excited to be a part of it. So how does it work? What can people expect? So the Fashion Week is literally a week. So Monday through mm -hmm. Friday. But we will be taking, the Chief Style Lounge will be taking place on Thursday, October 13th. And we will be at Union Station this year. Um, you will see everything from Chiefs cheerleaders, former Chiefs cheerleaders, former Chiefs players, including the handsome Eddie Kennison that we'll mm -hmm. see later today. Um, they're going to walk the runway and um, and just kind of strut their stuff in Chiefs gear. 